Hey everyone, this is G1 Rider with G1 Insights. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus and Cancer. This is your life and love energy for November 2022. And I have dealt some cards for you, but I wanted to point out a few things. Um, The first week of November, we had the full moon, moon eclipse in Taurus. And that's going to make us think and feel... Um, energies or a different shift that happens when it comes to our family, close relationships, um, even a relationship even with ourselves is that question here, okay? So you guys are going to be thinking a lot about, you know, what family mean to you, but you also may be thinking about someone who may have moved on. You could also be just simply thinking about how you would like to achieve um, greatness, Okay. Um, not that you haven't already achieved greatness, but it's just that for some reason, some of you want to get better at something or you want to improve something. And for some of you, this could be, um, confidence or this could be, um, your home. Okay. Maybe doing some refurnishing around the home. Use this energy though, um, to just allow your imagination, your imagination to just run wild. Okay. As long as you, whatever you are doing, it just makes you feel good. And it's providing you with the reasons to be optimistic. I say, go for it. Okay. Now I want to start this off again. This is a general reading guys. So make sure you guys are checking your birth chart check your personal planets your sun moon rising your venus it is so important to know these things because it gives you in my opinion it gives you extra clarity it shows you what you could be missing um there could be some things that i mentioned in this reading that maybe in your moon sign reading um if you can get a whole different idea of what you're going through or what you may need advice on so that's why i think it's important to double check your birth chart if you don't know it already um then you can always google it or reach out to me if you decide to know anyway but i know you do need your um the time you were born of course the place you know that type of thing all right so i love you guys but let's get into this all right so I'm going to start this off with the Empress card. The Empress card stuck out to me because I don't know why, but I just feel you in this energy. This energy to me represents the nurturing energy. The Empress is all about nurturing herself, nurturing her family, her finances. Um, the Empress can also represent someone who just found out they're pregnant or is pregnant or it could be welcoming a child very soon okay um just give a take to you know whatever this message applies to just let it resonate with you okay um but the imprints or energy also represents home for me i believe like this is home energy this is sacred energy but if you guys can see clearly on the card it's a temp time to take action giving birth to your dreams um, focusing or c- nurturing your creative projects, right? Taking more time out for you. So you may towards, especially towards like the end of the month, because the first couple of weeks of November is tricky for not just you, but for every last one of us. But I feel strongly that going towards the end of November, you will feel a lot more confident, even when it comes to helping others, um, helping yourself, Um, That achievement that we talked about, I feel like you're working towards that. You're building on your projects. You're working on your self-esteem. You're working on building. um, And and now let me say this too. Let me, before I go further, let me say this. When I'm talking about confidence, guys, it does not have to be a physical thing. Okay. This can be confidence, not having confidence about your project or not having confidence about getting that new job or getting that new promotion. Maybe this is lacking confidence in your appearance. This could be lacking confidence in a relationship for a relationship. This could be lacking confidence um, just in a group setting. It doesn't necessarily have to be a physical thing. So I just wanted to point that out to you just in case, cause I don't know, my spirit was like, um, Maybe somebody is like, well, I don't know. Some of you could have just been on the other side. Like, what? I'm totally confident, right? <laughs> to all my, my bourgeois cancers out there. Um, 
So yeah, time to take action though. You know, going after what you want, it's time to nurture yourself, to nurture your projects, to nurture your home, taking better care of your children, doing bigger and better things for your children, catering to your children. Um, This could be um, whatever project you are focused on or will have your mind on, it says that it will be very successful. Okay, so this is the imprints card. Again, as you see, is talking about abundance and prosperity. This is a very beautiful energy to come into November with. But I feel like it's going to get stronger as the month go along. Okay, now you will be filled with a lot of artistic inspiration, as you see with the imprints energy. But I also saw here the um the eight of swords which means things are coming at you quick fast like let's get to it take an action again there's that double confirmation okay with the eight of swords to me this is um being honest about just how quick you want this just how bad do you want this right again there's that uh statement there talking about a lack of self-confidence so what have you feel like you have not what have you what do you feel like has not been your strong suit like what do you feel like you can really really improve this season what do you feel like you can really really work on or what do you want to work on what do you want to improve what would you like to get better at right this can be designing this can be owning a business right so i just feel like you guys are kind of taking your life back in a creative sense all right but this eight of swords you know don't get caught up in this illusion of entrapment okay because this month cancer the sun mercury and venus will glide through scorpio which is by the way in the sector of your chart that governs self-expression so you want to use this energy as an excuse to let your imagination just go like I said in the beginning, let your imagination just run, honey. Just let it run wild, okay? Because it will make you feel good. Like I said, though, this is a tricky energy because it's going to shift by mid-November. The vibes will turn uh, in a very moment's notice. And that's probably why the, the Eight of Swords is here. Because like I said, something is going to quickly turn or shift uh this can be in your favor or not in your favor it just depends on your own energy at that time and what you are putting out there because this is like the law of attraction you know what we put out there is what we get and if we're hungry and we are thirsty for that that to reach our goal and we're building up our self-confidence and we're going after our dreams and we are focused on our crazy creative self guess what the universe is going to give us that energy double times fold okay so pay attention to this eight of swords energy it's very important okay um you may lack a self-confidence that will make you feel helpless you know being afraid to take action but the imprints is showing up here in your reading reminding you that it is time for you to take action so it seems like spirit is pushing you to just go at it to go for it okay no more hiding no more self-doubt do that thing all right like I said, this fear or lack of confidence, um, well, this fear or lack of confidence will, it may cause you to pull back. Even when your mind and your heart is like, go for it. Let's do this. What are we waiting for? Okay. But you might want to use your discernment. Use your intuition, my love. Use that fifth and eighth energy. Okay. <laughs> anyway, when I'm saying that fifth and eighth energy, November 5th, the 8th of november that i'm telling you the first week of november is going to be crazy beautiful and so you want to just dive in and go for it by mid-november around the 20th the 18th to the 21st maybe even the 23rd because i know we have that new moon coming up the new moon is approaching us really quickly and that's going to be another beautiful energy but like i said there's a lot of twists and tur turns here in the month of november so we have to be watch out for that okay now you also got like the five of fire which is in traditional tarot deck that's the five of wands the five of wands is talking all about conflict with others caused by opposing opinions so people could be trying to impose their views on you trying to convince you to do it their way but in your heart you know what's right you know what you want to achieve you know what you would like to accomplish and so 
Spirit just telling you here simple, like just walk away from the drama. You know, unless the situation is really worth giving your energy to, just let it go, okay? Stand up for yourself. Don't let people push you around, okay? Focus and put your energy around ambitious people, people that want to see you doing better, okay? Because I'm telling you, uh, even here, uh, going towards mid-November, you will begin to feel more goal-oriented, more work-oriented. You will be a lot more in the mood for structure. Um, the Sagittarius energy um, is going to be crazy for you, especially because Venus is entering Sagittarius around mid-November. Like I want to say the 16th, give or take a day. Um, only followed by Mercury two days later. So like I said, the energy will shift. And the energy is going to remind you of the importance of working hard for your goals, inspiring you to take a more serious approach towards your fantasies and the things that you've been carrying through most of the month. All these ideas, brilliant ideas, these things that you have had in your mind over and over that you would like to pursue. This could even be going back to school, honey. Don't let no one persuade you to do things their way this season. I'm going to tell you, get out there, do it, make it happen, and forget the haters, forget the naysayers, okay? These sentiments will be um, accentuated once Sagittarius season kicks off on the 22nd, though. You will feel like helping others just as much as you do yourself. However, you'll want to avoid providing like huge amounts of assistance to anyone who wouldn't return the favor to you. So use this new moon on the 23rd to outline a plan for the next six months, okay? Do not wait until Mercury go retrograde in December because that is the worst time, absolute worst time um, at the end of December to start making plans for your New Year's resolution. Energy wants us to start now. Source wants us to begin now. Now let's talk about your love energy, honey, because baby, you got deception, you got religious factors, and by looking at just your overall life and love energy cards that I had pulled out, um, I can just tell you right now, the deception card is really talking about you deceiving yourself, making yourself believe that you are not worthy enough, making yourself feel like you're not ready. You are ready, honey bun. You are ready for the next journey in your life. Your love life is good, is being influenced by religious upbringings and the religious factors. And so, people, again, I just feel I felt this before I even saw your love cards. I was like, wow, that's crazy. It's like people are really trying to impose their views on you or make you feel bad for a decision that you're trying to make. Do not let that happen. Do not be deceived. Someone is wearing a self mask in this relationship. Someone could be lying to you or you lying to yourself or you could be lying to the person. But either way, honey, some of you could just be simply with your soulmate, but just because you may feel like they are deceiving you, but they maybe they just trying to show you that they way is the best way. All I'm saying, it doesn't mean that they're not your soulmate. Some people just have different ideas and different visions from other people. It doesn't mean that they're better than you or you're better than them. Everybody had their right to feel how they feel. Everybody's entitled to their opinion. And it doesn't mean that you guys are not meant to be, but I will say this, for those of you that are single looking for new love, that could be coming in as well, because I did get the soulmate energy and I did get religious factors so for some of you this could be somebody you meet um being religious you know out doing religious things doing your rituals that you do every day you could be praying you could be um look reading a uh, bible scripture on your phone you could be at church you could be um just somewhere doing something spiritual or religious and boom you meet someone new who have who share the same interests so if you want to know this person is just so made yes they are this is the answer you've been looking for there you go baby there's your clarity but new love is here some of you could be getting engaged some of you could be falling in love this could be even a happy marriage or actually um, just simply enjoying a relationship, like I said, just even building a better relationship with yourself or with somebody else. But like I told you earlier as well, with that imprint energy, you could be celebrating something with your children, celebrating something, um, maybe having a child, maybe you guys are embracing a new child, something, it could be something that you guys are celebrating with a child, okay? It could be something in that nature. But um, if not, then this definitely represents family. This def re definitely represents even possibly marriage or getting together, okay? Overall, if it's not all that, guys, it definitely could just be simply a celebration of life, a celebration of joy for whatever reason. But for those of you that are embarking 
embarking on this new journey, going for that new business. Congratulations. And if you like this reading, just like, share, subscribe, and get at me. Comments below if you want to read in or anything. Everything will be in the description box. So make sure you guys reach out to me. Okay? Love you. Bye.